Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Art Book Addiction here, and we're here with a new Art Book Review. So today, we're going to be looking at a, uh, let's see, at Mas Que Solo de Las, Volume 2 by Luis Gadilla, alright? Um, I probably pronounced all that shit wrong, but, you know, sometimes that's how it be, right? I'm not a native Spanish speaker, but that's okay, because uh, I like the art. And uh, that's what we're here for, right? So, um, uh, Luis uh, Gade, uh, Gadilla, is it Gaida or Gad, whatever Gadilla? Um, I'm not really. Uh, I didn't really follow him before I, I purchased this book. I f saw this book on the Stuart NG shop, and um, you know, I really like the cover. I like the uh, this. Uh, the shirt, right? The design of this, like, uh, you, you get to see a little bit of the under boob, you know, a little bit of that little, whoop, a little bit of that nip, right? So, um, you know, it, the, the, the front art interests me. Um, and there's some, there's some sexy art in here. Uh, but it's not, it's not everything. It's just like a kind of like a showcase of his work. Um, I believe he's working, um, maybe for Nickelodeon or, one of the animations to use. I know, I know he's in the industry. Um, but yeah, I really like his work. And uh, I, I like the shapes that he's got going on here. Right? And obviously the the sexy aspect, right? Um, not really, not I, like I said, I don't really know that much more about him. But we're going to look into this book. It's a, it's a small book. Um, I got it for like, I think 20, 25 bucks, right? <clears throat> Um, so it's not that expensive. It's uh, I, I don't know if they'll still if they still have it for this price, but um, hopefully I'll, I'll I'll leave a listing in you know the the usual places for you guys to check out this book if you want to purchase it for yourself. Um, but before we uh, begin the video, guys, please uh, leave a like, hit that subscribe. It'll help out the channel, right? But uh, with all that said, uh, let's let's jump into this bad boy. All right. We got the title right there, very nice. There we go. Let's see. Oh, they have it in English and Spanish. Mas que solo y las is the second collection of art resulting from my leisure time. I enjoy a good cup of coffee while experimenting with all kinds of media. And that's how I created this book. Okay, nice. Very nice. We got a some kind of giant, we got a toucan with the, with the biggest beak, you know, it's a body ratio I've ever seen. Yeah. Maybe got beak. <clears throat> Here we go. All right. So I think he primarily works digitally and, um, I, he says different media, but I, I don't think, I don't know if there's just that much, uh, difference in it but this is nice here we go we got two we got two bears we got a fisherman bear right here and we got a, a normal guy everyday bear yeah these are nice i like the i like the shapes right here they're very big and like you know what i mean yeah these are cute these kind of almost look like um like cardboard cutouts you know what i mean that kind of style with like the cardboard cutout in front of the uh everything yeah. <clears throat> yeah, like like a paper craft. You know what I mean? Really nice style. Ooh. Here we go. So these images are uh, some of the images that I really like from uh, from him. I, I think I look at his Instagram and he's got these uh, cool kind of like like you know very blocky um sexy designs right which is something that which is the, the thing that i kind of wanted to see a lot of in this book um you can see in the in these ones he's he's working with uh what do you call it pencil right i don't know if he cleaned it up with uh with the digital or if these are all i think it's partly digital but mostly it's traditional i think it's traditional yeah like this, see like this, uh, this, uh, ice pop, I think that's digital, but I think the rest, 
might be uh, traditional, which is nice. I really like that. I really like this color, kind of colored pencil look. And you can see some of the uh, the pentimenti, which is the uh, kind of like the leftover um, sketch work underneath, right? Giving it that nice energy. I mean, I love these these powerful shapes, man. You know, um, they're blocky, but they're they're really nice and they're you know they're sexy. So that's always good. Here we go. Yep. Oh, so we have a. Uh... Yeah, you can see he's he's playing around with different styles right here. <laughs> Is this? This has to be digital. Yeah, this has to be digital. I think maybe he start starts out with pencil or uh no see see this is regular pencil this is probably yeah this is like a digital yeah digital underdrawing all right <laughs> sorry about the sniffling it's a uh... it's been getting windy over here so there's definitely a lot of allergens going around so i'm, I'm gonna be sniffling all right so that's just the way it's gonna be here we go yeah so uh we... He's a he's a big fan of that uh that little bit of under boob coming out right so that's that's a that's a choice okay that's quality right there okay yeah really like that the legs are very exaggerated right it reminds me a lot of uh, Ashley Wood right you can see that like from the from the head to the thing right there it's like it's like you have an extra whole foot worth of uh, space but. Looks good. Really like the aesthetic, right? I wonder if it's inspired by Ashley Wood. I wouldn't be surprised if it was. There we go. Same thing right here. Really long legs. I don't know. It's something I, I just like that. <laughs> and yeah, we got the little bit of under boob right there. Very nice. Very nice. You yeah. know, this one is uh, I don't know. I'm getting a Latina girl vibe. You know, because of the the you know the tattoos and the 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 headband. I guess it's not really exclusive Latina, but something about this, uh, the way she's dressing. Very nice. Very cute. There we go. The monkey and the star fox. Okay. See, so, yeah, I think these are done traditionally because, yep, yeah, yeah, because of all the, there's a lot of marker, uh, marks right there, and it, it, it has the, um, the spontaneity of, uh, of a real medium. It looks really nice. There we go. I think... Hold up. We'll, we'll, we'll go back to this. I think um, the monkey and the star fox... He... I think he made, like, a little separate book. That's just this, right? I don't know if that's... If that's on sale or anywhere. I think it's... I think it is on sale. But, uh, yeah, you guys can check that out, too. I think it's, like, a little story. You know? Yeah. Malachus. Yeah. Yeah, I like, the, I like those, like, fucking, like, square knees, dude. You know? <laughs> this one's really nice. I think this one is... Let's see. It might be colored pencil with, uh, with, uh, what is it called? Uh, pastels. Yeah. Pastels or, it's either pastels or it's completely in the colored pencil. It looks really nice. There we go. This one, watercolor. <clears throat> yeah, I like that, I like that shape. You know? I like its shapes a lot. It was really nice, and the the colors are working really well together. You know, you got this brown right here that that adds the warmth to the back, even though there's some you know this warmth in the front goes to the back too. Looks really nice. Let's see. You can see this one; he has more of like a like a cutout style, right? Where it's like it has like the realistic textures on it, yeah. But then like there's parts that are flat. You know what I mean? So it feels like a like um like a paper craft, I guess. I I don't, I don't know what I don't know what to call that style, but you guys know what I'm talking about. It's like 
it's like a like gumball you know what i mean where it's like it has like the animated part mixed with like very realistic stuff you know what i mean i don't, I don't know what they call that but it reminds me of that oh here we go more uh star monkey what is it uh star fox the monkey and the star fox yeah more of the monkey and the star fox yeah, and he's got like little bende dots right here. That's really cool. He has, he's playing around with the mediums. That's that's really nice. Yeah, because I feel like a lot of artists are, they, everyone's just doing digital now, which uh, I don't know. It it, it can hold you back. It really can because then you, you your drawings they don't they may not have as much life as you want them to have, right? Or right, we have a. Uh, Tony the uh, trapezoid tiger. Right. Look at that. Like I said, I like these. I like these really strong shapes. Yeah, this book's a little. It's a little like tight. You know what I mean? Like it's hard to flip without the thing going back on me. But yeah, hopefully I can let you guys see all these drawings right here. Yeah, just different poses, different. Little emotes. I like this. I like this like little sly look that he's got going on right here. <laughs> oh. These are nice. Ooh, more sexy. Awesome. Yep, we got the long leg and look at that hip pop, dude. That's confidence right here. You know that like it's like right on the border of like being just broken, right? Just you know? But I don't know. It looks it looks fine to me. It looks right. Um, and even even though there's no like, what do you call it? No nip. Like the, the the shirt pattern has like a little you know fake nip action, which is real nice. Very sexy. <laughs> Got these nice triangles in the back. Um, and her skin is like fucking. It's it is a uh, dark red. It's not. I guess it's not a dark red, but like for for skin tone, that is. That's that's just straight Terra Rosa, bro. Okay. Very very nice. Really like that. And, the, and they got the super long legs. Yeah. These are nice, nice little illustrations right here. Oh, we have the um, that one chick from. Um, it's called Wacky Races. Yeah, I don't remember her name, but uh, this is a nice, this is a nice, a nice little drawing right here. Yeah, she's got the little, you know, like I said, right on the, right on the edge of being broken, but it looks nice. It's just a, a nice little drawing, right? Yeah, he's got, she, he, he's, she's got like the, uh, what do you call it? XJ9 Jenny Wakeman uh, legs, right? With this, where it's just like a big ass shape. Oh, here we go. So yeah, we got the monkey chilling out with the blunt, right? Uh, the fox, he's hit too many. He's hit it too many times, so he's taking a fat nap, right? And then right now he's just like he's 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 floating, dude, because he's on cloud nine right now, right? Because he's just like, bro, you know? Yeah, very nice. He hit the he hit the pen too many times. All right, all right. So we're getting a little little pink guy. Uh, he reminds me of those. Um, remember that skate brand? It's like E Industries or some shit. You know, you know with the little flame guys. You know what I mean? Little flame guys. With the uh, fuck, what is that? I don't know. Just leave it in the comments below. Um, those those are little flame guys, and that this this little guy reminds me of that. You know, from the skate brand. Fuck, dude. Damn, can't believe. Uh, it's like I don't know, whatever. Something industries or some shit, right? But we have like a little little animation thing right here going. I don't know. I don't know if uh, if Lewis does any uh, animation. Uh, I can see it right here. I can see he's doing it. 
Lamar. Yeah, I guess something happened. I don't know. When I saw this, I, I thought I thought it was like, like this guy ate another fish, and they they're like, "Bro, did you just eat Jim?" He's like, "Uh, sorry." Damn. And then, yeah. If only I spoke Spanish, dude. Don't know what that means. Is that like the darkness? Have a very we have a ultra wide boy, right? Look at that! Look at the size of that hand, bro, right? And he's got a, he's got his big old floppy fish, very nice. Yeah, reminds me of um, UPA a little bit. There we go. It's a noche contemplario. Contemplaron, las estrellas hasta escribir un sueno. Yeah, you guys can roast my Spanish if you want. I don't really care. Let's see. Uh, we got some more uh, monkey and star fox, right? Um, I guess this is like a. Like a Christmas, you know, like Mexican Christmas in the desert. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe if I could read this, it, I would understand. Oh, it's a. Uh, it's the chick from uh, Mad Max. Yeah, yeah, the 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 one arm girl. Yeah, she was pretty cool. I liked her character. This, and this one's pretty cool, too. It's like, uh... Is she bald? Yeah, she is, right? Yeah, but really, really nice. Nice drawing right here. Look at that. <laughs> why, does her, why does her hand have, like, the... The Photoshop, like... You know, like, oh, this has nothing... Like, no layer in it. Pattern. That's funny. Mean Earl and the Dying Girl. And he's like, Titties. That's what you're here for, right? Titties. Is she dying? I guess she's dying, right? And he's like, Listen, girl, you may be dying, but I'm only here for one thing, and one thing only. Titties. Okay. They got the... the they got that nose that I feel like I see in like every animation style. You know, the the big honking schnoz that's really red. You know, at first I liked it, but like I'm getting real tired of that nose, okay? I'm getting real tired of that nose. So it's, it's not a problem here, but it's just like I keep seeing it everywhere and I'm like, guys, come on. We can make noses any other way. You know, see that nose is better. You know, it's it's I don't really like it, but at least it's different. You know what I mean? Uh, so we got a girl wearing a Wonder Woman outfit, right? Uh, with only one strap, so you get to see like a ooh, we get oh hey, you know what I mean? Ooh. Uh, yeah, dude, I like the style. It's 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 a uh, it's a lot more wavy. You know what I mean? <laughs> Very nice. Damn, dude, it's like. That thing must be tight, dude, because it's creating, like, all these creases, like, just fucking, just grabbing that puss, dude. Grab her by the pussy, dude. Those pants, that's what they're doing, dude. Jesus. Oh, he's got the little scratches. Oh, nice. Uh, we got Harley Quinn, right? Because, you know, we all love Harley Quinn. Very nice. I like the shape. Yeah, very nice shapes going on right here. Her head's a little big, but I think that's on purpose. Not really much else to say. Really nice. Really nice, though. Uh, we have a generic Archer Man, right? Eh, whatever. Not much to say about him. Um, we have a generic 
uh, thief girl, right? She's got some like she's got some like Arabian notes, right? So that's kind of nice. Yeah. You know, you can see a little bit of her nips, right? That's that's choice, right? A lot better than that one. Yeah, I like this a lot more than the other one. All right. Oh, we got a barbarian man, right? With a very, very uh, wide, you know, ultra wide. I like, I like his ultra wide designs. You know, yeah. He's got a little, he's got a little cigar right there. Very nice. Yeah. I like, the, I like the hairy kind of like hairiness of it, and it's just like kind of like a, like a, like a sponge. Um, I was gonna say a wizard, but this, he looks more like a like a shepherd, but uh, with a pig. Yeah, for some reason this looks like a female pig. I don't know why. And he's like, he's, like, he's looking at. Him, he's like, you know what's gonna happen, All right? You know what's going down. Yeah. Very like. Look at the, look look at those shapes, man. I don't know why, but it feels like maybe, like he had like a D and D group, you know, and he's like he's just drawing like all the characters, you know. <laughs> I don't know why. I, I just get that feeling. Here we have a, we have a trader of sorts, I think. Yeah. Like he's a salesman, right? He's got some, he's got some real big man titties, and he's got like tiny ass feet, little feet. Yeah. Cool, I like him. I like I like his uh, greedy look. There we go. Oh, now this no, we got a we got a witch right here. Yeah, she got a little bit of she got a little bit of lingerie underneath. Ooh, hey. Uh, hey now, she got a little bit of mustache going on. Hey. Yeah. Looking looking real fine there. Ursula, there you go. That's that's the name, Ursula. <laughs> Zoro Pillow. I wish this was bigger. You know what I mean? Like, why why just have it in the corner here? I don't know. Let's see. Um, some kind some kind of ogre. Yeah. Ogre, or I don't know, something like that. Because I, I think ogre because of the green, you know, but maybe it's not an ogre. Looks nice, though. I like the water color. Oh, here we go. So we have uh, a team of uh, weirdly shaped women, right? Yeah, look at this one. Just like a. She's like a. It's like a triangle, you know what I mean? This is like a reverse triangle. You know, she like she got it all up here, and then she's like, oh, she got it all down here. You know what I mean? This one's got a little bit of a little bit of pop here, a little bit of pop there. Portions are being played with. That's kind of fun. Yeah. You know? <laughs> we got a typical nerdy guy. With the umbrella. He looks like um. Who's that kid from Rugrats with the red hair? I don't remember. I don't remember his name, but he looks like a, like a grown-up version of him, or like Steve from uh, American Dad. Yeah. I've uh, got another big chick, right, with a bodonk a donk, you know. Right. It feels like you could fit. Um, you know, you know, you know, Fisk from the new Spider-Man, uh, the the animated one. What is it called? Into the Spider Verse. Yeah. I feel like you could fit him in here. You know what I mean? That's funny. Yeah, this looks like maybe he, you know, saw some people, like, when he went to the beach or something, and he's like, oh, what if I made, like, a little caricature of them, right? She's, uh, she thick, dude. She, she all thigh, right? We got an old man here. You know, he's got... I, I don't know what this is. Are these, like, flies? 
flying around him? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, it seems like, like, like maybe, like this is the grandpa, and then like this is like the granddaughter, you know? He's like, come on grandpa, he's like, I see the flies! They breathe. They breathe into my- <gasps> And then he like sucks up the fly. <laughs> Come on, Grandpa, there's no flies there. That's just your dementia. There we go. We got a... We got a bro dude, right, with a... Really thick beard, right? But he's got He's got his little apple... Apple AirPods, right? Yeah. And and he's got a he's got prison body, which is all arms, no legs at all, right? And uh, we have opposite, right? Like a dancer, right? Uh, she has uh, she's got uh, earphones with the actual, you know, uh, cable, right? Which I appreciate, you know what I mean? And she got the fuck. She all legs, bro. Oh, oh. But she got it up here too. Oh. You know what I mean, but she got no arms. You know what? I like. I like all legs more than all arms. Okay. But uh, I guess. I guess it depends on the person. <laughs> oh, she's sexy. I like her. Yo. We have a. Uh, Honestly, it almost looks like he has fucking titties, bro. Right? I know it's supposed to be like him, he's ripped, you know what I mean? Because he has like that that kind of look, but it looks like he just has like two fucking like tickle bitties just like barely being held by that shirt. You know? We got a sexy little brown girl right here. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, we got a very we got a long skinny girl, right? With her half her ass hanging out. With a with a poodle, you know, the poodle seems much more refined. You know what I mean, like, ugh, do not associate me with my owner. Okay, it's common filth. Yeah. Oh, it's David Bowie. Oh, nice. Hey, what up, David Bowie? How's it going? I wasn't expecting you here. And it's got the pattern to, to show the outline of the, the outfit. Very nice. Very cool. And here we go. We're we're reaching the end of the art book. Uh, you can find him at lewisgadia.com, uh, right? Check out his Instagram, right? Yeah. So this is a nice little art book. This is a nice little book. Yep. And that's it. And then Elfin. Nice. Yeah. That was a nice little art book. You know, it's short, it's small, it's sweet, um, and it's just like a little, you know, I, I, I assume these are like little drawings he does on the side, and like these are the ones that he thought were, was worth um, presenting, right? It's just a nice little art book, right? So let's, uh, let's flip this over and enter the review portion. Alright guys, let us enter the review portion for uh, Mas que Solo Elas Volume 2, alright? Um, this is a nice little book, like I said. This is a... It's another, like, you know, it's, this is made by an individual artist, so it's not gonna be huge, right? Um, I'm assuming Lewis is working in the industry, so he doesn't have much time to do these little side drawings, but... Um, he's got these little drawings that he's made, and he compiled it to a little book, right? So it's just a nice little product. Um... Yeah, these are just like the little artist sketchbooks. These are nice, you know what I mean? These are, you could you, you could see these at cons being sold. You know what I mean? So, um, viewing it as that kind of product, I, I, I think I had a good time. I had a, I had a, I had a nice time with these little drawings. They're, their designs are a little bit different. They got the sexy, right? So, can't really complain, can't really complain. Um, I like, you know, honestly, this is my favorite drawing of this entire book, the one in the cover. I just really like this, you know, Latina girl with a little mole right there and the and the wow wow, you know what I mean? It's just it's just it's just nice. You know what I mean? I just really enjoy it. Yeah. So yeah, go ahead and check out this guy's work. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys check out uh Louis Gadia, right? Check out his work. Maybe purchase a book or two, right? 
Um, if you like this video, please leave a like, uh, subscribe for more content, leave a comment, tell me how you guys feel about Lewis's artwork, right? Ring that bell for notification, all that bullshit, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks a lot.